In naval warfare, one of the best tools for area denial is the anti-ship missile system. They strengthen a state's combat and deterrent capability in a hostile maritime environment. Like any other country, Iran is developing sophisticated anti-ship missile systems to counter any offensive advantage posed by the sea-based capabilities of its adversaries. Therefore, anti-ship missiles form a credible component of any nation's defense capabilities. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Military TV. Today we're going to talk about Iran's anti-ship missile threat to Gulf shipping. Iran's anti-ship missile arsenal represents a key part of its asymmetric anti-access area denial, or called A2AD strategy. An A2AD strategy is particularly effective in the Persian Gulf, Straits of Hormuz, and the Gulf of Oman because of the relatively confined spaces of these bodies of water. The wide variety of platforms from which Iran can launch anti-ship missiles Ashams, represents a 360-degree threat. In addition to the coastal, ship, and fixed-wing platforms, Iran recently integrated Ashams into helicopters and aims to develop submarine-launched missiles. Surface vessels that can fire anti-ship missiles are a crucial part of Iran's asymmetric strategy. Part of this strategy calls for swarms of small vessels to attack larger enemy vessels. Although it is difficult to ascertain the current operational readiness of Iran's surface fleet, a 2009 report by the U.S. Office of Naval Intelligence stated that approximately half of the IRIN's missile-armed surface combatants were in very poor material condition, limiting their readiness and operational endurance. To make up for this, coast-launched Ashams can be used in conjunction with small boat swarm attacks in order to saturate enemy vessel defenses. Ashams based on coastal platforms are small, mobile, and can be disguised as civilian vehicles, making the destruction of these platforms difficult. Iran's Ashams can be put into three broad categories, short-range, mid-range, and long-range. Short-range Ashams like the C-801, Kalsar, and Nasser are generally rocket-powered and are commonly found on small, fast attack craft. The Chinese C-701 and C-704 missiles were used to develop the Kalsar and Nasser respectively. In September 2013, Iran claimed to have produced a helicopter-launched version of the Nasser missile and planned to produce a version that could be launched from a fighter aircraft. A picture showing a Bell 206 with a modified Nasser missile attached to it was released alongside this statement. The C-801 was also imported from China in 1987-88 and is in Iranian service as the Tondar. Mid-range Ashams, which include the C-802, Nor, and Katir, feature small air-breathing engines, making these missiles anti-ship cruise missiles ASCMs. Nor and Katir are both based on the C-802, which was imported from China. These missiles are found on Iran's frigates, corvettes, and fixed-wing aircraft. The Qadir was claimed to have been integrated into helicopters at the same time as the claim was made with Nasser. While the Mi-17 was specified as the platform for the Nor, no specific helicopter was given as the platform for the Qadir. Considering that the Qadir is slightly larger than the Nor, but similar in the sense that it is also a C-802 derivative, the Mi-17 is likely the helicopter platform for the Qadir. And long-range Ashams, including Rayad and Khalij Fars, are currently only found on land-based platforms. The Rayad is a modified HY-2, while the Khalij Fars is an anti-ship ballistic missile variant of the Fateh-110 ballistic missile. All of these missiles can be launched from land and coastal platforms. In addition, Iranian ships made heavy use of the C-700 or C-800 series anti-ship missiles Iran bought from the People's Republic of China PRC, or now produces indigenously. They have replaced most Western-supplied missiles with Chinese designs. The Iranian Navy's missile patrol boats include 13 operational 275-ton French-made Combatant 2 common-class fast-attack boats, with four currently under construction. These boats are reported to be armed with two to four C-802 Sardine anti-ship missiles, 
176 mm gun and to have maximum speeds of 37.5 knots. According to Jane's Naval Guide, nine of these are from the original French shipment during the early 1980s, while Iran has constructed another four with comparable equipment. The Kamen-class fast attack boats were originally armed with four U.S. Harpoon missiles, but their harpoons may no longer be operational. At least five have been successfully converted to launchers carrying two to four C-801 and C-802s. One source notes that Iran may have imported up to 100 C-801s and eight launchers in 1987 and 1988, and built its arsenal by 200 by 1994. It since has developed the ability to produce the C-801 indigenously under the designation Tondar. Another source notes that Iran may have deployed its C-701 missiles at launching bases under construction at Bandar Abbas, Bandar Lenge, Boucher, and Bandar Khomeini. It is also clear that Iran has refitted U.S. ships once equipped with Harpoon with the C-800 series. Iran also has sought to buy more advanced anti-ship missiles and anti-ship missile production facilities from Russia, North Korea, and China, and possibly has even attempted to obtain Chinese-made missile-armed frigates. Iran regularly announces that it has deployed anti-ship missiles or is developing them. For example, it claims to have successfully developed over-the-horizon missile targeting capabilities, building variants of the Fahe-110 and Shahab with homing guidance systems for use in anti-ship warfare. This claim appears to be borne out to some extent by the development of the Kalish Farsa and upgraded Fate 110 with a rudimentary seeking and steering mechanism for targeting ships. While its real-world capabilities are unknown, it would represent a valuable layer of Iran's anti-ship stack. In October 2019, Iran was reported to have joined the club of countries operating ramjet engines. Ramjet engines are powerful, air-breathing technologies that are crucial for cruise missiles with supersonic speeds. Iran has already developed cruise missiles and, in future, can upgrade these missiles with ramjet power for supersonic speeds. Moreover, Iran could also use ramjet engines for anti-ship missile capabilities in order to make them supersonic in speed. This could clearly alter the balance of power in Iran's favor. Such reports, nevertheless, point to Iran's preparedness in its maritime capabilities to influence the Persian Gulf region. In April 2020, General Salami asserted that security of the Persian Gulf is part of Iran's strategic priorities. Moreover, since the hypersonic arms race has already begun, and Russia, China, India, and the United States are all developing or developed hypersonic cruise missile systems, Iran will not want to be left behind and want to showcase its military prowess to the world. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed the video.